Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create three stunning mono paste font designs in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So to get started, let's create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. We're just going to call this page tutorial. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. Now this design is going to be designed from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and choose build from scratch. And then I'm just going to close this for now. So the first thing we need to do here on this section is to add a background color. So I'm going to go into the settings there, click on background, and then I'm just going to paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we've added our color, the next thing is to add our image. And then I'm going to click on this plus button. So the image we're going to use is this one here. Now notice, it's very important that your image here has to be 200 by 200 pixels for this to work. So I'm going to click upload an image. And then there's a few settings I need to do here to the background image. So you just want to make sure that the image is actually the actual image. So right now it's set to cover. So I'm going to say actual. So you can see now we are looking at the right size and then on the background image position, we want to make sure that it is centered. So we're done here on the section settings. I'm going to save. The next stage is to add a text module to this. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and we're going to add a single column and search for my text module. I'm going to select it. And in here, we're just going to type the word elegant. So now that we've added our text, the next stage is to set our text font. So I'm going to come over here to default. Now we are going to set a mono paste font. So I'm just going to type in here mono so we can see the list of all the fonts we have here, which are mono paste. So as you can see here, we have quite a long list of um, these mono paste fonts. So you can just choose the one you know you want to go with. So I'm going to go with space mono for this example. And then the next stage is to set my text size. So by default, it's set to 14 pixels. So I'm going to set this at 5VW. And then next, I am going to come over here to my letter spacing and I'm going to set this to 1.3 EM. Now here on the line height, it's currently set to 1.7. I'm going to set this to 1. Now before I forget, I'm just going to center this. And then uh, we still need to do quite a bit of work here. So. The next part here of this design is to head over to our spacing because we need to add our padding and also our margins. So I'm going to come over here now to spacing and on spacing, we're going to add a padding of 2 EM to the top and the bottom. And we're also going to add a margin bottom of zero. Now over here to the left, we're going to add 1.3 EM. So now you can see our design is really in the center now. Now, when it comes to the text color, you can also uh, change that color. But of course, you can just leave it as it is if you wish. So I'm just going to come over here and just add a bit of transparency here to my text. And I'm going to paste my values here between the brackets. Now, notice what I've done here. I've just dragged this slider down a little bit so that I could get my RGBA values, right? So I've just entered my uh, values in there. Next, we are going to save and work on our row. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings. Over here on the row settings, we just want our design to just fill the whole screen. So to, to achieve that, we're going to come over here to design sizing and we're going to set this to 100%. And then I'm just going to copy this and our maximum width also needs to be 100%. So let me just save this and then we can take a look at our final design. So as you can see now, this is pretty much our final design. Now, of course, of course you can go in and uh, change this text to whatever you want. So let's say you want to change this to maybe a word like clock. There we go. And, and everything here is also centered. Now let's move on to our next design. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add a brand new section. We're going to go with a single column. So here, before we add any modules, let's go to our section settings and make some changes to our background. So I'm going to click here on section settings, click on background. And then here we want to do something a bit different uh, to what we did in the first example. So we're going to add a gradient. So click on the second tab, click here on this plus button, and I'm going to paste my first color in here. And my second color is going to be 
it's going to have some transparency. So what you need to do is to just drag the slider down a little bit and paste your values in here. And by the way, like I said, if you want to use the exact same colors as our or text that I'm using in this in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's customize our gradient by coming over here to gradient direction and we're going to set this to 135. Now notice here that my gradient is still set to linear, so we want to make sure here that we are set to linear. Now let's head over to our start position and here on the start position, we're going to set this to 50 and our end position to 76. Now I know right now things are very subtle, but uh, you will see the changes as we proceed with our design. So the next stage here is to make sure we place gradient above background image. Now let's add the background image. So I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button, and I'm going to go with this cake here. Upload an image. Now, if you want to use the exact same image, this image is from the Cake Maker Layout Pack. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to save and then I'm going to go into my row settings. Now over here, we're going to do what we did before. Make this full width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing, drag this all the way to 100% and make sure also our maximum width is set to 100%. We're going to save this, add a text module. So I'm going to go ahead and click this plus button and search for my text module and select it. Next, I'm going to come over here and paste my text that needs to go in my text module. So all I've done here is I've just added Divi Design and linked Learn More. So to link it, you just highlight it and then you just come over here to this chain and add your link that way. Now let's style this text. So I'm going to come over here to design text. So we're going to start here with the paragraph text. So our text font here is going to be overpass mono. It's going to be all caps. Let's add our text color by coming over here to this eyedropper tool. I'm going to paste my value of my color here. And for our text size, we're going to make this <clears throat> nice and big. And this is going to be 15 VW. Moving on, let's go over here to our letter spacing. I'm going to set this to 0 0.16 and our text line height to 1 EM. Now let's add a style to this link because remember this text here which says learn more is actually a link. So back over here on the text, I'm going to click here on second tab. So I'm going to start with my text color, paste it in here. And then I'm going to go to my link text size, set this to 3.5 VW. And for my letter spacing, I'm going to set this to 0 EM. And finally, we are going to underline this. Now let's head over to our spacing settings. So I'm going to click here on spacing. And the very first thing I'm going to do here is to add padding to the left. So I'm going to set this to 0.16 and on the right I'm going to set this to 3 EM and margin top I'm going to set this to 0. So we're almost done. I'm just going to save this and let's say you just want to change the color of this text. All you have to do is to highlight it and then click here on this bucket tool and then you just want to set your colors here to white. In fact, let me just manually type it in there. There we go. I'm going to close that and pretty much this is our final design. Now here's one quick thing. So let's say you want to change the color of a specific font. What you can also do here is to just highlight the font you want to make changes to. Go into the color picker and then paste your color in here. And now we've just added the color to that particular. So this is our final design. I'm just going to save this and let's just do a quick preview. Now let's go to example number three. So Again, we're going to click here on this plus button, click on regular. We're going to go with a single column. Now, before we add any modules, let's go ahead and add a background image. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background, and I'm going to add my image by coming over here to the third tab. Click on the plus button and the image I'm going to go with is this one right here. So note the size here is 1621 by 1725, but of course you can just use as you know, a fairly large image and this will work. So I'm going to click upload an image. So now that we've added our background uh, image, let's head over here to this tab and let's add a gradient. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and my first color here. Uh, for this, I'm just going to add, you know, my color by just choosing it here from uh, my palette. And that's another way you can actually choose your colors. Next on the second color here, I'm just going to set this to transparent and then making sure that I've left my gradient type here at linear. On the direction, I'm going to set this to 90 degrees. And then I'm going to come over here to my start position and set this at 25. And my end position, I'm going to set this to zero. Now for this gradi gradient to show above my image, I have to just make sure I activate place gradient above background image. 
to yes and then save. Now let's head over here to our row settings. So over here on our row settings, I'm just going to click on design, sizing, make sure that this is set to 100% on my width and then 100% on my maximum width. Next, I'm going to head over here to my padding. So I'm going to click on spacing and here I want to add 22 VW to the top and make sure it's VW, otherwise it won't work. And on the left here, we're going to set this to 5 VW. And then it's time now to add our text module. So let's save this. Click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So here I'm just going to add a word. I'm just going to type in here mono. And then here on the design, I'm going to click on text. And my font here is going to be, in fact, you know what? Let's search for our mono fonts. And the one I need is uh, Rubik Mono 1. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then on my text color, click here on this eyedropper tool and add my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors, I'm going to leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now let's add our text size. So currently it's at 14 pixels. We're going to set this to 8VW. And then our letter spacing is going to be 0.15. So I'm going to add it in here. And then our line height is going to be 1 EM. So pretty much I'm done here. I'm just going to save this and then I'm just going to duplicate a few times. So I'm just going to come over here and just duplicate this twice. So here we want to make some changes to this one here in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click here on the module settings, click on background and I'm going to add a background color. Next, we're going to add a text color. So I'm going to click here on design text, click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Next, I'm going to set my uh, width for my text. So I'm just going to come over here to sizing and my width here is going to be 0.86 EM. So notice what happens here. This is totally switched. Now let's add our margins. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and for our margin top, set this to minus 3 EM and 2 EM on the left. So this now is going to fit perfectly in line, but not not so perfect yet. So back over here on the content, the text here needs to read fonts. So I'm just going to save here and then let's move on to our third module here. So I'm going to click on module settings and we are going to uh, change this from mono to spaced. And now let's work on our margins by coming over here to design spacing. And for our margin here, we're going to set this to minus one EM. And then on the left, we're going to set this to two EM. So now let's just save and take a quick preview at our final design. So I'm going to save here, save one more time, exit the visual builder, and this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials and when we go live. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.